So Fred, here we are at, uh, at Blue Water Estate, where uh, 19 houses are going to go in for public housing. What do you think about this project here? I think it's a very good project for the Northern Beaches. I think it will add to their economy in this area because we do spend. And I think the people that have put forward the argument against it uh, just simply need to realise that uh, there are people in need and one day like those people in need they themselves could be in need and uh, it can happen suddenly not just an hour a day a week a month it can happen instantaneously where they're in need of such a thing and uh, we've actually seen this in the global financial crisis that uh, you know we're seeing people that have gone bust and suddenly they, they, they're looking for cheaper accommodation so. mm -hmm. but you know, we are good people in public housing, and to paint us that we're not is just foolhardy. Yeah, yeah. And of course, there's a variety of people that require um, assistance in housing these days. Yeah, you can get. Uh, remember, people that come to the housing department for housing can be anything from a single person uh, that's never married, uh, whatever, uh, but also can be people with disabilities, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. It, it can be a myriad of people and some people want a house, some people want a unit. So, and at the moment, the unit demand is uh, far outranging the house demand, you know. Now some of the concerns for this one here in Blue Water, just north of Cairns, is that it's nowhere near important services. That, that's what some of the neighbours around here are saying. What, what, do you, what do you tell those people? <laughs> I find that extraordinary. <laughs> You've hit, on the, hit it right on the head. I find that extraordinary to uh, see because I sat out on the northern beaches for 12 days at every beach and then pointing this fact out to everybody but and then one of the protagonists we had here who then was in the art of selling property then comes out, you know, three months later and claims that all the services are right there and they're very good services. So I find that extraordinary. This is a local property developer, isn't it? Yeah, so they tell me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they say he's, he's a property developer, yeah, but I find that an extraordinary statement to put that the Northern Beaches don't have one service. And I can actually quickly, I got a call from a fellow in Adelaide who actually thanked me because he runs a business here. And he said, Fred, those people don't realise the damage they could have done to the Northern Beaches economy. Mm. And I think that says it all. So there's a real need for, for more housing, of course, in our region at the moment. And w w where is the need most okay, important? The need across the region, I've just, you know, there are Pacific points that I could find out, but specifically still we're running with a wait list of around about 1900 in a region that stretches from Cardwell to Weaver to Georgetown, Croydon. Uh, out here, there's about 680 people that want their home out on the northern beaches. And tell me what's going to happen the day that the site here opens up. Well, I can tell you, there'll be one thing that will happen. If I'm in town, I will be standing beside Mr. Steve Wettenhall welcoming the first tenant that moves in. Right, so, so it's a good day for Cairns to have these, uh, these sites being developed for, uh, for people in need. Absolutely, and just to top it all off, while this has been going on, we've housed 26 families. Mm, tremendous. Thanks, Fred. See <laughs>